couple little things that I do with my HydroWave is, number one, I always have it on some sort of a delay. Uh, right now I'm on offshore schooling pattern, and right there you can hear the HydroWave activate, you get your sound. What I'll do is delay that to about 15 to say 30 seconds. In the mornings, in low light, I don't want my volume to be overpowering. I really only have it up to about one or two bars on the volume. And as the day wears on and I start to see things get more active, then I'll crank that volume up. Look, the one time that, that, that I do really uh, put it on a constant play with no delay is when I've got a school activated, okay? When I look at my Mega Live and, and I see things happening, swarming on bait balls, that's when I'm gonna go to an absolute continuous play because I want that school to stay going. Some of the patterns that I like the best is when, when I really want the, the hydro wave to shine is when fish are on some kind of pelagic forage, okay? That's a big term right there for me. But when you see them on pods of bait, you can go to like right now, my patterns offshore schooling. Uh, there's a little lake down the road that we taped a bunch of content on that you can match the pattern to your lake. Earlier this year, um, there's a pattern on here, bream beds, bluegill beds, uh, that we used it in that show. Do you turn it on and every single time you go bass fishing, are you gonna catch a giant limited bass? No, but I do know there has been instances that it has played a big factor uh, in our day on the water, no doubt. I've seen too many things right when I turn it on that is not coincidental. So the biggest thing is use a delay in colder water, quiet water, low light conditions, and use that continuous play when you've got a school fired. And if you go through the whole menu, guaranteed there is a sound pattern for the lake you fish.